Okay, so this is how I build my nuke boxes. Um, first thing I did was I take a piece of 1x8, um, it's just a piece of pine, uh, whatever you can get in your area, it's just a piece of 1x8. And um, because of the way I do my boxes, um, I kind of go the lazy route. And I do, um, I do face to uh, to end when it comes to uh, uh, joining my box and my pieces together for my boxes, and then I just screw uh, in along the side. So um, my dimensions might be a little bit different than what you like to do. Uh, first thing I do is I cut uh, a couple pieces. These are uh, 19 and 7 8 inches long, and then I cut a few pieces that are um, that are 7 and 3 8 inches uh, long, and that's those pieces. And then in order to cut the uh, the groove here. See that a little bit better, maybe. So in order to cut this channel right here for the frames to rest, I take these pieces and I first uh, set the fence of my table saw to uh, uh, what is it? Five eighths of an inch. Um, I actually set it a little bit less than five eighths. It's uh, somewhere around uh, nine sixteenths. Uh, because of the width of my blade, you need to measure the width of your blade, and I don't know if you can see that too well, but it makes this channel right here. So this is the first cut you make, and the height on that is uh, three eighths of an inch. And I use these little brass bars that are perfectly measured for uh, for my height. Uh, I've got another uh, deal that allows me to also measure the height uh, more accurately. But I mean, these do a pretty good job. I really like these. I picked these up at Rockler um, Woodworking. Uh, maybe a woodcraft in your area might have it as well. Um, so uh, this first cut is uh, three eighths of an inch tall on the blade, and then uh, you know the, the the bottom of the the, the cut needs to be a full five eighths of an inch down. Um, so however you can get it, depending on the width of your blade, you might need to play around that with that a little bit. So the next cut that I'm making, and I run all the cuts at the same time. Right now I'm making uh, uh, two or three boxes. got another that I cut a couple weeks ago. So, um, so I do all the same cut at once. Just kind of saves you a little bit of time and you only have to set up once or twice. So the next cut is going to be 5 eighths tall on the blade. So, so I use my uh, my brass bars and I set the blade 5 eighths of an inch tall. And then I've got to cut, um, cut this excess off. I believe that is going to be that needs to be three eighths of an inch. So yeah, so you want three eighths of an inch left over on the side. So uh, you got to figure on your table saw uh, with your width of your blade. You got to figure out what that is. Now I'm going to actually be running these like this with the piece that I want to keep against the board, um, so the other piece doesn't go shooting off on them. So I can actually set this to three eighths of an inch. And run these pieces. I'm just going to double check, make sure that's about where I want it, and that is. So I always use some sort of device to keep your hand as far away from the blade as possible. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems. So, 
as you can see, that just cuts that piece off. You end up with this, and then you've got your channel. And I'm just going to go ahead and run those other, run the rest of them real quick. So that's all of those pieces. So I've got those, and then I've also got these. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to basically take <clears throat> two of these three pilot holes on all corners and then use uh, screws to screw in there. Now I'm also this is our nuke this is my nuke box so I'm actually going to take a, uh, a little bit off of, of one of these two pieces um, to give them their entrance area um, and then later I'll also show how I put in my bottom and I actually attach my bottoms directly to my nuke boxes. Um, one flaw I have I found with, with the way I'm doing these right now is there's not that much space between the, uh, the bottom of the frame and the bottom of the box. Um, I have just been directly attaching the bottom of the box or the, the, the floor of the box directly to the bottom of, the, of, the, of these pieces. Um, However, it doesn't leave too much room for them underneath to go underneath the frames. So you might want to consider putting a frame around uh, the bottom piece, kind of like what you do with a, uh, with a bottom board. So those are my boxes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and drill these and, and, and screw them together. And uh, then I'll be back for the, uh, for the bottom. All right. Okay, so these are the uh, three nuke boxes I just built. Um, as you can see, uh, I decided to just go ahead and put two screws on each side. Um, it's working pretty good. I mean, they're extremely sturdy. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, you know, you got your grooves, frame, five frames, um, and then obviously, you know, your, your entrance for the beehive and. Uh, so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is actually constructing the, uh, the bottom board. Uh, the bottom board is made out of three quarter inch uh, birch uh, plywood. And it's basically going to be enough to extend out to the front a little bit. And it will be attached to the bottom. Alright.